We recently had an energy and uh, water audit and from that we now log all the uh, energy and water consumption that we do and through that actually we found that we had uh, a major water leak um, which is now being obviously looked at but uh, we were having very large water bills uh, as a consequence of that but the children have now started using the water butts and um, they use the water butts not only just to water all the, the vegetables and all the things that we're actually growing but also they use it in their play, they use it in the sand, it's become, it's, it, it's something that's readily available to them and also they're aware that if there hasn't been any rain that actually the water butts are dry so it's kind of broadened their knowledge of, of the seasons and the weather and the change in the weather so if there is actually no water available then they know that you know we had lots of sunshine and no water and how you can try and expand on that and, w and talk about maybe a particular child where if they're from uh, another culture where maybe at home they also suffer the same issue that there's not a lot of water and, and that it's not ready available and how that child or that particular family might have to travel a large distance to get water for their family so we've tried to sort of broaden that um, again it can be difficult with children and small children but we were working towards uh, broadening their knowledge in those areas well we have star squad who um, meet um, about once a month and we discuss all different environmental issues and um, they work with me to help improve our school environment so this year we're looking at saving 10% on our electricity um, so we're planning a trip to another school who are very good at producing their own electricity and saving electricity so we're going to go and find out about what they do and then we'll be feeding their ideas back into the school and um, starting with energy monitors in every class and the star squad will be going around with handheld um, eco eyes to measure how much electric we're using. If your teachers are wasting energy like they leave their computers on and the lights on you give them a warning so that they don't do it again and the second time they do it they get charged. The main energy saving measure we have at North Harringo Primary School is a solar array behind me which is made up of 30 panels. Uh, it produces at 5 kilowatt peak. Uh, it doesn't do that all the time, but that's what it can manage. It's a medium size array, and uh, over the last four years that we've had it installed, it's given us uh, 10 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions savings. This panel here shows what uh, the solar panels are producing upstairs. Uh, on the top figure there, we have 1.2 kilowatts. That's what the panel is producing right now. Uh, the middle figure is the total energy that has been produced in the last four years uh, since it was installed and the figure below here on the bottom is uh, showing that we've saved uh, 10 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions over that time. The other thing we have is we use energy saving strip lights so they only have to be replaced every sort of five years or so and they reduce our energy consumption massively. You have to walk to school, use, um, don't use too many paper towels, use both sides of your exercise book and don't use plastic bags and use reusable containers. What we're looking to do with getting the children involved is through the new deputy head teachers, very enthusiastic, bringing that into the curriculum uh, about energy saving devices and getting particularly the solar panel array into the education. Uh, it really saves energy and it really helps save the environment really. And we hope that by turning off lights and computers and just actually changing our behaviour we'll be able to save the 10%. It's quite fun but also it's true because everyone's saying that kids waste more electricity but actually it shows that teachers are wasting a lot of, teach of electricity when they're not in the classroom. <laughs>